When the Beach Boys formed in 1961, the term boy band hadn't even been invented. But without doubt, the Californian group's focus on upfront vocals and tight harmonies provided the inspiration for many all singing groups in the boy band heyday of the 80s and 90s. Originally called the Pendletones, the story goes that a record company junior decided to change the name on their debut single Surfin to align them more closely with other surf bands. With no money left in the budget, the labels could not be reprinted. Joined by Mike Love, Al Jardine and his two younger brothers, Dennis and Carl, Brian Wilson emerged as the visionary genius of the group, producing their defining album Pet Sounds in 1966, which spawned all-time classics Wouldn't It Be Nice, God Only Knows, Don't Talk and the Beach Boys cover of Sloop John B. Pet Sounds has since been declared one of the greatest albums of all time, by the likes of Time, Rolling Stone, NME, Mojo and The Times. In 2007, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame placed the album at number nine on its definitive 200 list. Now in his 60s, Brian wasn't sure the album had resonated so profoundly with audiences. I don't know. I, I think because it's artistic and beautiful. I don't know. Well, uh, Brian, that's so understated. Brian, Brian's created a masterpiece, obviously, and it came straight from, from God. Through Brian Wilson, and and it's got the it's got the kinds of music that people can turn off the lights and listen to, and, and remember forever. But Brian, whose famous battles with drugs and mental illness kept him from going on tour with the group, wasn't convinced. It is definitive. It's not the only album. Beach Boys Love You was just as good in my. Oh, I do too. In my, in I love opinion, Beach Boys. The Beach Boys Love You and 15 yep. Big Ones are just as good. And and that stuff is going to come out eventually because it's part of that merger of the catalogs together. So those are things that people yeah. haven't heard before. One part of the Brian Wilson catalogue that fans had to wait 38 years to hear was the album Smile. He began work on it back in 1966 with lyricist Van Dyke Perks, when the rest of the band were out on tour. However, Brian's apprehension and objections from the group about Smile's impressionistic content led him to shelving the project. Smile finally saw the light of day in 2004, and anchored by three classic Brian Wilson songs, Heroes and Villains, Surf's Up and Good Vibrations, it was instantly declared a masterpiece by critics. And Brian was pretty pleased with himself. Well, I think it's an important contribution because it's melodically and lyrically very advanced and very good music, very, very good special music. He was rewarded with his first solo Grammy Award for Best Rock Instrumental Performance on the track Mrs. O'Leary's Cow.